Yes, yes, people, what's happening? Welcome to Sai TV. And we are live, people. We are live. Champions League nights. I mean, what do I know, eh? We're in the Europa League. <laughs> but listen, we're live, we're active. Listen, you guys wanted it. I thought to myself, should I do it? Should I not? Are people interested? But you know what? I thought, if I'm watching it, I might as well do it. I might as well do it, people. I might as well do it. But listen, make sure you guys smash a like on the video. This will be the watch along. We might even have a chat. We could just discuss life, enjoy life. That's what we do on here. Um, and yeah, man, let's get the team news up. 15 minutes or less than that, actually. 10 minutes till kickoff. Um, and let's get the team news up as soon as we can. So they have Onana in goal, former Ajax player, former Ten Hag player in goal. Skriniar, who was of the subject of a transfer move to PSG all summer, didn't happen. Uh, Stephen DeFry, um, we were linked with him so many years under Van Gaal, but we never got him. Bastoni, another one that was linked with Man United and Tottenham as well. Left side is centre back, very, very highly rated. Damian, remember Damian, people? Damian, right back. You know what? I can't lie, man. I won that I thought should have done better, Man United, but overall. Was a good servant, did his thing, but just never trusted for Mourinho. Barella, this midfielder here, man. I wish we could get him, man. This would be a midfielder I would love at United. Uh, Kanahogalu, Turkish player. Mkhitaryan, former United player. I actually liked Mkhitaryan, you know, as a, as a, as a, as a player. I didn't mind Mkhitaryan. I don't know about you guys. Uh, DeMarco, I don't know this player. I'll be honest with you, DeMarco. You guys have to let me know. Martinez, another player that United should be getting maybe next summer. You know what I mean? Very, very highly rated. Only 24-25. Very, very good player. And then Correa up front. Let us know, people, what you're thinking up to, what you're thinking uh, for the team. Um, yeah, my Inter Milan team, man. Big up to Nathan Minas in the chat. Decent, decent team. Three at the back. Wing back system. You know what you're getting from the Simeone team. Um, so that's that team there. Let's check the Barcelona team. And they have Testegan in goal, Sergio Roberto, Christiansen, Eric Garcia of Mormon Man City, former Chelsea left back, Nicolas Alonso, um, Gavi, highly rated, Sergio Biscuits, the ever present, one of the GOATs, so, so highly appreciated by me. Honestly, grew up watching this kid, um, unbelievable. Pedri, another young player that's, that's proven it big time in. The Catalan, you know what I mean? Colors. Uh, Rafinha from Leeds. Um, Lewandowski, world class striker. You know what he is, one of the GOATs. And Dembele. I wanted him on free last summer. People didn't want him. It is what it is. But listen, that's their team there. What are you guys thinking? No De Jong, though. No De Jong. I can't. Listen, what, what does De Jong have to do, man? You know what I mean? To get in this team, people. What does he have to do? Because he ain't getting chosen. So I don't know what's going on, people. Why is it De Jong being in this team? Stress-free stream, yeah, man. Come on, you already know. Stress-free stream, man. That's what we do. Nicholas Alonso, is that not his name? What is it, Marcus Alonso or Nicholas? It's one or the other, isn't it? It's one or the other, man. Marcus, Nicholas, wherever it is. Apparently, De Jong is injured. Yeah, Barcelona team, a bit more balanced in there. I like this, man. 4-3-3. Three, three. Roberto might get got, but I think he'll be all right. At right back, very, very reliable. Um... Decent, decent team, man. Um, Danny says he'll not watching your second team's first. Listen, I just like Conte. Why does it, Why can't people just like the fact that I I like Conte as a manager? I just like him as a manager. It is what it is, man. Um, you looked excellent for nearly thirty, man, bro. Keep moving, correct? Yeah, man. I'm 29 in October. I'm 28 right now. I'm 29 on the 22nd of October. So. We're not getting any younger now. We're getting into our 30s, man. Once you get to the 30s, you start to have chronic pains and all this and that, man. You know what I mean? But I can't lie. I'm looking to, I'm looking forward to my 30s, man. I think it's going to be a good part of my life. You know what I mean? The 20s was messing around, you know what I mean? Being very, very, you know, loud and all that. But when you get to your 30s, mate, you get me? we got to do our thing, man. You know what I'm saying? So... Someone's saying, here, how are you 29? I thought you were 23. A lot of people say that. A lot of people think I'm like, um, 
Um, I'm 23, 24. I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't have a beard. Maybe. The fact that I don't have a beard. I don't know. I think I think Somalis generally do look younger. You could have a you could have a man that looks probably older than what he is, but he's probably about sixty, and that's just the Somali genes. You know what I mean? It is what it is, man. Um, playing FIFA with the stream in the background. Come on, man! I need to get the FIFA, man. I need to FIFA ASAP. Well, I need to get the PS Five, but I don't know how much they go for now. How much does the PS Five go for in the UK? It should be around about four or five hundred quid. Yeah, man, black don't crack, man. You already know, as I you already know. You look 15 to be fair. Wow, 15, you know. Wow. That's mad. Now nah, nah, I think around 21, 20. Early, early 20s at least. Early 20s at least, man. Um, 500 quid. Jeez, man. That man are looking to roast me. Yeah, man, we got some good ideas, man. We got some good ideas. We got some good ideas, man. Don't worry, man. I will be starting a career mode, and you know me, I'm career mode. Yeah, I go wild, me. I go wild with with negotiations, with prices, my team, the way I play. I can't defend on FIFA. One thing I don't do on FIFA is I don't defend. So end of the day, um, it is what it is. Grow a beard. I don't grow a beard, man. I don't. It comes up as like fluffers. Like, I don't like fluffers, man. You know what I mean? So, nah, not really a beard guy, man. Straight away, after one week, I want to shave it off, man. It's not really a good look, if I'm being honest with you. Big up, everybody. Make sure you get the likes up, man. Hit the like button if you're watching right now. Um, Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And yeah, man, it's FIFA. I've not played it. I've actually not played it at all. I've not played one game of FIFA. I've still got FIFA 22, man, and I've still got Mbappe card. The 96 Mbappe card. I'm still I'm still holding on to that 96 Mbappe card. If you know, you know. Headliner card. Cristiano Ronaldo. I've got a, I've got an unbelievable team in my normal game. In my normal FIFA 22. I'm telling you, I'll be shameless like that, Alien Tenno. I'll be shameless. I'll buy Haaland. But I'll try and buy players that are reasonably look like we're going to go and get. That's what I'm going to try and do. Um... Say, trust me, bro. You gotta respect. You gotta. You gotta stick with the beard process. Listen, there ain't no process when it comes to beard, mate. That's a false process. You know what I mean? There's a no. There's no process with this beard, man. It, it just won't happen. I've tried everything. I have tried beard oil, whatever you want to call it. Like, it's not happening. And it is what it is. Big up, Sheikh Al Saeed. Big up to you, bro. Um, Uh, try to do a project thing. I might do. I might do. Might get the youngsters involved. Yeah, I will do. Do a realistic one. Toby. I think Toby's a one year older than me. One or two years older than me. I think he's about 30, 31. I think he's 30, 31. Um, side random question. Can you afford to live off YouTube or is it a side thing? It's one of them. It's a hustle. It's, um, I wouldn't say quit your job straight away. You have to, you have to build yourself up, man. I, I, I kind of build myself up. To the point where you know you you gotta work hard. You can't. It's not gonna happen overnight. That's the one thing as well. You've got to make sure it's a side hustle first, and then build it to becomes a full time employment. But it is um it is um it is possible. Um, no, I'm 29 in October the 22nd, so literally less than that. But mustache is going strong, man. You see, if only that mustache here yeah, would go down here. <laughs> Then we'd get somewhere, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Let me put that over there. We we'll try and sort something out, people. Sorry. I want to try and get the game here so that I can watch it like that. What do you reckon? Yeah. Uh, when did you start? What age did you start YouTube? 2017, so five years ago from now. Five years, I started, so what, I was, what, 25, 24? Yeah, that's when I started. Yeah, man, with the Super Chats, YouTube take, like, 40%. Um, yeah, YouTube, I'm, mess I'm not messing around, man. When they when they take, they take a certain percentage of all the Super Chats, everything like that, so, yeah, man. YouTube don't play around. End of the day, you got to remember, and also YouTube tax as well. 
Before 2021, YouTube did it. Since lockdown, every single person became a YouTuber. How many people became a YouTuber in lockdown? It's crazy, honestly. The amount of people that became YouTubers in lockdown was mad. But well, it is what it is, isn't it? Everybody's trying to make it out in a content creating world, man. And you love to see it. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm self-employed now. I'm I'm literally YouTube, freelancing, uh, modeling. I do everything, me, man. I, I don't mess around me. <laughs> I don't mess around, man. I'm I'm trying to become basically I wanna gain revenue or gain income from as many sources as possible. Like I don't really mind that. Like, I wanna try and make myself multi-dimensional i don't want to stick to let's say youtube i want to try and make sure I'd, I, I get to different areas you've got to man you some people can do it but I, i'd prefer be to be multi multifaceted and that's the way to do it man who's your favorite person to work with on youtube um you know what i'm gonna say nuridin but i think grizz man i like grizz I think Grizz is a top guy, man. He's like an older brother, Grizz. That's why I get along with him, man. He's like an older brother. Um, so, yeah, man. Grizz, Nuruddin. But there's loads, man. I could name everyone. Rants, expressions, everyone, man. Everyone's everyone's got their own unique um, ways of doing it. You grew uh, you grew every quickly. You know what? I'm not a lie. I didn't grow quickly, you know, man. I, I stalled a bit. I did certain things. You know what I mean? I... My journey on YouTube has been stop and start. You know what I mean? But you've got to keep, because if you're not consistent, you're not going to grow. It's as simple as that. So if, if you don't upload, if you don't interact with your audience, if you don't kind of, you know, try and have that positive mindset, you're going to get stuck in the rut. And, and that's what happens, man. So you've just got to keep believing. Yeah, bro. I'm not. I'm not. 2024. You should go on SDS podcast soon, man. He follows me on Twitter, Sharky. So... Listen, Shark, if you're watching, man, you know what I mean? Hit me up, man. I'm ready. I'm ready. But I will be getting, um, I want to try and make um, my own podcast. When I move into my new apartment uh, in the next week or so, I will try and um, make my own podcast. So whether that's football related or just in general, I will try and make my own podcast. So yeah, man. Said, what did you do in uni? I did chemistry. Um, I did chemistry. Yeah, it was tough, man. I don't know why I did it. To be honest with you, if I'm being honest with you, I think uni. If you're not, if you're not knowing that you're gonna get a job out of it, don't go to uni. I'll be honest with you, man. Rue two thousand one says if you didn't mention Big Steve. I see what he did there. Nah, Steve's a brother, man. Steve's, you know what I mean. Steve's, Steve's a good man. Steve's a good man. You get me. But I see, I see more than just YouTube in it because we talk on 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 a day to day here and there. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, say it's all it's all love with Steve in it. What's a minute silence for, people? There's a minute silence. Any regrets so far? I don't like to have regrets, if I'm being honest with you. Um, if victims of all oh, Indonesia. Oh, yeah, by the way, man, solidarity with the people of Indonesia as well. It's very, very... I can't believe what happened, you know. I was watching the video as well. I'm just like, is that happening in 2022? Like, seriously, man. That can't be happening in 2022. But I don't know what happened, man. Let us know if anybody knows. But that was very, very appalling, man. And it's a sad man. Nobody should be going to um, a, a match knowing that they're going to die, man. It's sad, man. Very, very sad. Um, game's about to kick off now, people. Who are you backing? I'm going to go for Barcelona to win this. 2-0. Uh, Inter Milan have been on poor, poor form. You know what I mean? I'm going to go with Barcelona to convincingly beat um, to beat uh, Inter Milan. Kickoff has started, people. Kickoff has started. Um, yeah, man. Kickoff started, people. Keep smashing the likes up on the video. Did you get a job after uni? Um, in terms of what career wise? Career wise, or what do you mean? Yeah, uni, uni's honestly, bro. I, I'm in debt, you know. I'm probably in about fifty grand in debt, mate. That's what it's crazy. I don't even want to think about it, man. I'm probably so I paid what nine thousand a year, nine times three. What's that? Twenty seven. Twenty seven. 
That's 27 grand. That's that's not even including the interest you're paying. So interest. Then you got to realize I had um, a loan as well. So I, I I don't know how much loan I took, man. I probably took about in the three years I was there. But you get it every sort of quarterly month. So altogether, let's say I took 10 grand in loans. What's that? Um, so 27 or 10, 37. Let's just call it 40 grand. But then you've got to think about the interest on top. So you're looking at 50 grand. Easy. Like it's not, unless you're doing something like medical or, I don't know, um, doctors or whatever. Honestly, don't even bother. Don't even bother, mate. Uh, if you're nursing, if you're engineering, if you know that that job is guaranteed, then then do it. But if not, there's actually no point. Cross comes in. Looking forward to see Dembele, man. I love watching Dembele, man. Proper, proper exciting player. Um, yeah, man. Honestly, I should have done something that was um, career-wise... Side in this group, who do you want to fail if you had to play one? Boy, I don't know, you know. Inter Milan will go in the Europa League. And then that's another threat, man. I think Inter Milan will, will be the ones that won't, won't go through. It depends on this group here. Look, it depends on these two games. Whoever gets the better. If Barcelona get the better, Inter Milan, look at that, man. So poor, man. You had a counter-attack there. Uh, people spend 60k uni fees, then fake employee nephew gets a job, no degrees to plot. Yeah, man. Honestly, you've got so many other options, man. You've got um, you've got diplomas, you've got uh, apprenticeships. There's so many ways of getting jobs nowadays. Don't think that uni is all MB. You've got so many things that you can do. Need Barcelona to complete my call. All right, fair enough. Good luck, mate. Any play you'd want from? Yeah, Barella, man. Barella. Troy. Get me Barella. Get me Barella. That's who I want in my team. Barella. I went to college, got my City and Gills. Yeah, there you go. I remember I did a City and Gills as well. <laughs> I remember I did it in like, was it like catering or something like that? You had to just get a skill. And I just choose catering. Barella walks in Manchester City's team. You know what? I don't know. It's one of them. Like they need a Gundogan replacement, so why not? Lukaku's on the bench. Though why is Lukaku on the bench? Big game, you know. Big game to be having Lukaku on the bench. Big up everybody. Make sure you guys smash a like on the video, man. Come on, people. Let's let's get the likes up. But it's going to be an interesting game, man. Lumen, are you a hard-working person? I think I, I think for me, I still think I'm not working to my maximum. I've not I've not reached what's called a maximum yet. You know, I mean, especially in this kind of world that I'm working from now. I don't think I've reached. I'm probably still at like 40 percent. I think there's levels to go. Probably probably tell a lie. I say I'm 60%. 60. But I think 70, 80, 90, you have not know what that is. Like going from job to job, maybe that might be a situation. You know what I mean? If in terms of freelancing. Uh so yeah, man. So do you believe in fate? I think for me, what what um what God gives you and what um what is destined for you then yeah, of course, you know what I mean? You have to in terms of understanding that your life has been set and, you know what I mean? That's why you have to become, you have to have perspective, you have to be humble. Whatever you get, you know what I mean? You just got to be happy with that. Obviously, you want to strive for more, but don't ever kind of like be so, um, you know, trying to trying to gain something that you really can't and, and just, just sometimes be humble for things that you've got. I can't believe Alonso's played for Barcelona, man. But is it believable though? Yeah, hundred percent. Uzma, I am from Somalia. Somalia. I am from Somalia. Yeah, definitely, man. 
Oh, Pedro, is that Gavi? Gavi, man, 18 years old. Look at that. Barcelona dominating. Cross comes in. Lewandowski. Is he going to pass? Oh, Rafinha tried to cross it in. Yeah, man. Abidal, man. What a player. Into the line on the break here. Oh, the wrong pass, man. Cross comes in. Ah, oh, don't look here. Oh, shot. Oh, what a save. What a save. That is from Testegen. What a shot that was from Kana Look at this. Absolute. Look at that. Phew. Unbelievable save that is. Hakan Kanahulugu. No contracts. End of the no new contracts. End of my United end of United players. Yeah, man. No contracts, son. Until they prove it, no contracts, mate. Not having any of that. Your birthday's two days after mine. Big up yourself. Yeah, man. Big up to you, bro. That means your birthday's on Arsa Wenger's birthday and Wayne Rooney. No, actually. Am I on the same day as... Let me check when my... So on my birthday... This is born on my birthday. I'm going to check now. So... Um, Jeff Gobdelum from uh, Jurassic Park. Who else is there? Uh, Bob Odegaver. Deontay Wilder's on my birthday. Arsene Wenger, the great Arsene Wenger's on my birthday. Um, Bi, who's Bi? From K-pop, probably, or BTS, maybe. Uh, who else? I think that's about it. Anthony Brown, Hugh Jackson. Yeah. Anyone on the birthday same day? He needs mentality. He won't be right players like Steve McLaren. Yeah. Trent alexander arnold scored a free kick, apparently. Fair play. Grizz will be buzzing with that one. Grizz will be buzzing. Where in Manchester from? I'm from South Central Manchester, near Fallowfield. Don't know if you heard of there. Still waiting for expression side boxing match. Yo, man. He's on Barstool now, man. He's He's gone clear, mate. Yeah, that contract, mate, from Barstool needs to be up, man. The price went up then. If Barstool are covering that, then my money's gone up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Barcelona just dominating the balls. Inter Milan just sitting off them, man. This is what happens now. You're either... A team who dominates the ball, or you're a team who likes to sit off them, you know what I mean, and just keep their shape. This, this is what football is now. It, this is it now. Uh, nah, not posh, mate. Not posh. Not posh at all, mate. Yeah, round there, round there, bro. Round there. Yeah. Big up to Rude 2001. Trent's confidence looked absolutely shattered recently. He needs to get it up. Yeah, man. 100%. 100%. I think for me, with Trent, I just don't think he's a right back. I really don't. I think he's more suit. I think he will develop his career into a midfielder. Who wins AJ versus Wilder? I think AJ just about. But you know what? I don't know, man. I just think that fight will never happen, though. Go on. Dembele. Oh, plays it across. Rafinha, Alonso, cross it in. Ah, poor cross, man. Very, very poor cross. Dead, man. How much out of 10 do you hate Leeds? I can't lie. It's one of them, you know, like with Leeds. Yes, it's a rivalry for most, but because I don't see um, many Leeds fans or because they haven't been in the Premier League for that long, it would have meant more to me when I was growing up than now. Right now, I can't lie. The, the rivalry isn't the same unless, 
You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, it's a weird one, but I'd probably say now it's probably like a six. I think it's City, Liverpool, Arsenal, um, and then probably Leeds. Probably say City's the highest in terms of rivalry, only because it's a local derby. Liverpool's just below that, and then it's Arsenal just because of the bragging rights, and then it's the Leeds, it's the you know, the Chelsea's of the world and whatnot. Cross comes in. Oh, just gone wide. Do you hate us more than Liverpool? I hate Liverpool more than City. Yeah, I hate Liverpool more than City. Yeah. But in terms of rivalry, in terms of, you know, the the, the fact that we're, we're, we're neighbours and whatnot, I think, I think I prefer the Manchester derby over... The 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 the, the, riot, the the derby we have in Liverpool. That's just my. I'm more hyped up for that one rather than the actual other one. If that makes sense. So that's just my own opinion on that one. Yeah. Yeah, Martinelli. Yeah, Martinelli's been improved. One of the most improved players this season. Easily, easily. Without a shadow of a doubt, Martinelli. Chelsea are relevant. Don't think anyone hates them. Can't lie. Tottenham and, and Chelsea have got a little bit of rivalry going on. But I think it's just because they're, they're, they're close neighbours. Maybe that's why. Inter Milan trying to play out from the back here again, getting squeezed up. Barcelona very, very good in terms of the way they squeeze you up. I think it's got a Barcelona win all over it, man. I just don't see Inter Milan posing any threat. They're at home and they're sitting back basically, eleven men behind the ball. I get it, but at the same time, I'm like bloody hell. Barcelona will find a way. Dembele. He's going at you here. Uh, this is where Inter Milan could get some some uh, joy if they can counter-attack, but they just don't have any pace, man. The thing with counter-attacks, you've got to have at least some pace. Look there, they've lost the ball here. Now Barcelona are on, on the top here. Can Alonso finally pass? Again, he gets blocked. Lordy hell. Inter's defence has been so poor to see Skrini get spot by mid. Yo, man, Inter Milan, I don't know what's going on this season. Where are they in the, 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 the Serie A table now? You know what, man? Big up Jose Mourinho. I told you I would support Roma this season. Even though now they've gone down to six. They're only four points behind Napoli. Napoli are top of the league. Inter Milan... Uh, ninth, you know, wow, eight points behind. They've lost two, they've lost three out of the last five. That's crazy. Roma, man, can they get something, man? But Napoli, though, I always love watching Napoli, though, I can't lie. And Atalanta, Udinese have won five out of the last five. Wow, Udinese, fair play. Yeah, man, big up, bro. Do you think Grizz looks like Curtis from Top Boy? Wow. Yeah, funny. I'm supporting and I really like the project they're going to win with the youngsters tomorrow. What a player. Yeah, that's true. My problem with United, as a United fan, we've been beaten too often. Yeah, bro. It's too, it's too much of the same, man. It's too much of the, of the same issues just coming back every single time. That's the problem, man. Um, yeah, family full of reds or blues. So basically, two of us are reds and the rest are blues. At least what? Four of them are blues. Four? Yeah, four. So it ain't easy out here in the streets, man. It's tough, man. It's tough out here. Would you say that winger from Napoli? Yeah, it's a good winger, man. It's a good winger. 
I like Politano as well, man. Very, very tricky winger, direct. You know? We need to go on a 10-game streak, bro. I don't know, man. This team, you know, I'm not saying we just about got them four wins, but you know what I mean? It's, it's going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough. They'll be tough, man. It's too much competition. And these guys just 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 always want to switch off every time. Yeah, so the oldest brother was. The oldest brother's been supporting them since probably like, you know, the 80s, late 80s, early 90s. But the rest of them, um, I'd say from the early 2000s, like early 2010s, because obviously they're pretty much younger, aren't they? So, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Ossiman as well. They've got decent players, man. Napoli, man. Napoli haven't won the title, though. Have they in a long while? That could be a big, big, big situation that could happen. I think the Italian league is becoming more competitive. Probably the most competitive league in Europe, if you actually deep it. I know we've got the league here, but I think City will run away with it. Whereas Napoli, you've got Napoli, Atalanta, Udinese, Juventus, AC Milan, Roma. Yo, I've even mentioned like Lazio and them, man. You know what I mean? Look, let's be real. You know what I'm saying? Cross comes here, Lewandowski. Oh, what was that shot? What was that shot, Lewandowski? Yeah, Anguisa as well. Anguisa has been an absolute breath of fresh air, man. He was he was talented at Fulham as well. To be fair, he was talented at Fulham. Inter Milan, no man. Flipping hell. Should have won the league last year. When you think about it. I think they can. They didn't bottle it, but they were in the sentency. And then AC Milan just roared back up to the top. Fair play to them. Barcelona Attacchio. Lewandowski. Oh, just about. Just about. What's Big Steve calling me, man? You don't see how to watch along. I'm on a bloody watch along, mate. What's wrong with this guy? Yo, man, I'm on a watch along, mate. What are you calling for, man? What's this guy on, man? I'm watching the game from my phone, mate. Chill out. Flipping hell, mate. The derby still is finished, yeah? But still, he wants to call me, man. What's going on? Tell him I'm watching the game. Jeez, man. Leave me alone, man. The derby's done. You've had your fun. You've had your little bit on the, on the big six. Chill out, man. Leave me alone, mate. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm a Liverpool fan. A Man City. I'm a Liverpool and Arsenal a Man City fan, all without my United. Okay. Big chance there. Cross comes in, and Barcelona just about clear it. City will always be a tiny club with 10,000 fans minimum. <laughs> Hit the like button, guys, man. Let, let's get the likes up, people. If you're watching right now, big up to you. I wasn't going to do the watch along. I just did it last minute. So big up to everybody who's here. Oh, shot comes in deflected. Manchester will never be blue. Anthony goal for... Yeah, of course. Again, in another game, that would have been an unbelievable goal. 
Yeah, on another day, that would have been an unbelievable goal, but it is what it is, isn't it? We move, we move. I'm just glad it was 6 3, man, and not flipping 7 8 1. Because it could have been a different, different scoreline, man, I'll tell you that. Lataro Martinez, man, you need a new club, man. We can't be out here, man. At this club, man. Get out of there. 25 years old, man. Go and get a new club. You deserve better. Inter Milan trying to force their way in here. They can't get in. Can I hug now? Barella. Barcelona content here. Barcelona content. Cross comes in. Oh, can he get something? Oh, what are you doing? It's a handball. That's a handball, ref. Surely that's a handball. Oh, Dembele. Oh, my days. Dembele. He is so quick. Rafinha. Oh, why didn't you shoot Dembele? Into Atlanta complaining about a penalty here. Could it be a penalty here? Let me go check this. What's happened here now? It might be offside anyway. Oh, let me see that here. Oh, that's a penalty, ref. That's a penalty. Anybody watching the game, let me know. Yeah, that's a clear penalty. That's a clear penalty, man. How? How this is not a penalty? But I think it might have been an offside in the lead up to it. If it's an offside in the lead up to it, then it might not be a penalty. If it was an offside in the lead up to it, it might not be a penalty. That's a clear penalty to me. I don't know what you guys are thinking in the chat. Penalty easy, clear penalty. That's a clear penalty, man. But it might have been offside first. He's checking the VAR. He's checking it now. He's going to check it. Look at Xavi here saying that he's, he's trying to... Look, it's an offside, though. That's a problem. I think it might be offside first. First of all, is it offside? Yeah, that's a penalty, ref. Come on, man. Yes, penalty. Eric Garcia. No penalty. Offside. Oh, give over, ref. Give over. But I had a feeling it was offside anyway. Was that even offside? I didn't even know, man. They didn't even show us. Was that even offside, people? Let us know. They didn't even show us the offside properly. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Ah, VAR, man, that's shocking. That. Wow, man. Cause I am. It's even offside. Yeah, but the thing is, they didn't even show us it properly. They just went straight into, right, is it a penalty or not, this and that. They didn't even monitor it properly. Like, what is going on there? Oh, gosh. It is what it is. It is what it is, man. I think that was a big chance there for, um, for Inter Milan to get 1-0 up, build a bit of confidence. You know what I mean? Try and do something in this game. Because it ain't easy, man. It ain't easy out here. It ain't easy, people. It ain't easy. Brown envelopes. Yo, you wait for Lona, man. You wait for Lona. Remember, remember, um, 
Remember all them nights, man, them conspiracy theories and that. Didier Drogba. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. <laughs> oh, man, that was a big... Honestly, that was a... I, I can't lie to you. Even, even me not wanting Chelsea to win a Champions League, yeah, that was the biggest disgrace that night, you know. If only social media was around that night, like, properly, like Twitter and all that. That referee... I probably had, like, death threats and all that. It was mad, but... Bro... Oh my days. Chelsea should have had about four or five penalties. Um, oh, it was just ridiculous. Ridiculous, honestly. But yeah, man. They got robbed, mate. They got robbed. And then we could have been playing Chelsea in two Champions League finals. When he deep it. Because that happened in 2009, didn't it? 2009. And we played them the year before as well. So. Damian, man. Why did Damian work at United, people? Why? Was it Mourinho that didn't like him? It was Mourinho, wasn't it? I'll never forget Barcelona. Barcelona ran there and Chelsea have yeah, got the biggest rivalry in Europe. If you know, you know. Like, them man have played each other about 15 times while I was a kid, when I was growing up. Look, look, look here. Oh, my days. What? up? Oh, his hand was offside. Oh, my days. You guys need to watch that. Oh, my God. What have I just watched? What have I just watched? Oh, my God. That new technology there, mate. What was that, mate? <laughs> Honestly, man. You guys, what is going on there? What was that? Was that the Matrix? Oh, they're ready to Milan. 1v1. 1v1. Oh! Oh, what a goal! Korea! Offside! Oh, my God! Should be 2 0. Oh. That could have been 2 0. Look at this VAR. It's not even working. What is going on today? What is this referee doing here? Fix your machines, man. Who is he speaking to here? What's he falling off now? What's he doing? Why do we see that referee now? Why do we see that now? Why do we see that VAR now for that? Into Milan, man. They're looking a bit buoyed now. Barcelona rattled. Jeez. That's crazy, man. Sport in Lisbon are winning 1 0 against Marseille. Marseille, they're finished. Crazy, man. Crazy people. Crazy, crazy. VAR, man. I just... It's ruining the game for me, man. The enjoyment of it. Dembele, man. What a winger. Seriously, man. What a winger. What a winger. They're in here now. Barcelona. Ah, oh, man. Give it the ball, my Rafinha, you ball hogger. He loves to hug the ball, Rafinha, man. Give the ball. You waste, man. Dembele, direct, man. What's to give it straight away, man? That's what you call a proper winger, man. 
Dembele is just scary, man. Honestly, Dembele is scary. I can't even, can't even explain it, man. Yeah, man. Just stay fit. That's all it is. If you can stay fit, Dembele, boy. Don't you remember this ref from the Turkish ref from when Fatka Madrid? This guy was the one who cost us. Oh, was it? It's the same ref. Oh, challenge here from Barcelona. Appealing for a yellow card here. Oh, they're saying that he's diving. What's going on? Mm, bit soft, bit soft, but Barella, this is what happens in Europe. Yeah. I'm trying to think what 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 decision did we get robbed from? I'm trying to think, man. I'm trying to think what decision. What was it? Yeah, man. I remember them days, man. Just celebrate, man. I think this it's one of those situations, man. It's one of those situations where they brought VAR in. I thought goal line technology was enough, but VAR's coming, external factors, this, that. It's just one of them. When you're um, in the emotion, it just it destroys the emotion of the game, man. You can't really kind of um, relax. Because you just never know what's going to happen. Ajax one one apparently. Um, I'm not sure if De Jong's not De Jong's not playing. De Jong's not playing. De Jong's not playing. Apparently he's injured. We needed De Jong this season, man. I still think we needed one more midfielder, but it is what it is, isn't it? What can you do? Can't do it all in one summer, apparently. For Barcelona, he's a luxury player. He's not their main player. For us, he'd be our main player. Dembele. Here's Gavi. Gavi, such a wonderful technical player. Dembele. Cross comes in. Ah, uh, poor crosses. You know what I mean? In terms of the, the service, man, they need to do better with the final ball. But Inter Milan compact. They've gone and done a couple of counter-attacks that have probably led to two goals if if they were given. Um, very contentious decisions. Barcelona just trying to force it a lot too much. They need to just relax. That's a, that's a foul. Pedri. It's got a foul there. Steve H says, if you could have one player from Barcelona on the team, who would you choose, Said? I would choose... I think I'd choose that um, Pedri guy, man. We need that sort of player. Pedri. Quality, quality player. Reminds me so much of like Iniesta. Look at that, look at that. Look at that from Pedri there. Oh, what a player. What a player Pedri is. Who would you get? Who would you get? Would it be Dembele? Look at Dembele. Oh, look at the service though, man. The service is poor. Rafinha tried to play it there. Lewandowski as well, yeah. Only because he's a bit older, I wouldn't get him. Cross comes in. Again, service Paul. Into like a counter-attack now. Correa, Correa, Correa. They're counter-attacking now. Barcelona trying to get back here. 
Get it on the right side. Oh, damn, I was available sooner, sooner. And he would have got that. Game is starting to open up now. Oh, brilliant, Gavi. Is that Gavi? What a player this kid is. Dembele, 1v1. Dembele. Oh, Dembele. Dembele. Oh, Dembele. Scary, man. Dembele 1v1 is scary. Dembele 1v1 is frightening. Yeah, man. It's mad right now. Was that Pedri? My bad. It looked like Gavi to me. Again, now, this VAR guy, this referee sorted out his... There's a reason why they've got Correa today instead of Lukaku. Got a bit of pace about him. Can stretch the defence. Simeone. Keep smashing the likes up, people. If you haven't liked the video already, please do like the video. Appreciate everybody that's here. Big up. If you want to ask any questions, just ask any questions. Don't worry about, you know what I mean, what, it's, what it is. If I can answer them, I'd answer them. Yeah, man, we'll just have a QA and a if you want. Anything you want to chat about, let me know. Football-wise, should have got Memphis. I think we should have got him. If I'm being honest with you, he was a very, very um, easy signing to go and get. Very, very easy signing. Damian tried to, try to. Oh, oh my God, what a tackle. So what, what one reason mental health is rising and how it was when you were a kid? Um, I think there's more problems now in life. I think there's more issues going on. Um, the, the, obviously, the cost of living crisis, um, social media, I think causes mental health, comparisons with people, Um a lot of people are not content in life now, so then it makes them overthink. I just think when you were a kid and when we were growing up, it's just, you're in a carefree world. You didn't really care about anything. So, yeah, probably just think social media factors and whatnot and, you know, life now with, with obviously post C19 and whatnot. It's a crazy world, man. If it may not, we'll show up tomorrow. <laughs> not tomorrow, by the way. It's um, It's Thursday. Do you think any United or City players out and about, if you spoke to any? No, not really. I've not seen anyone in the last probably six months. They're very, very sheltered, man. And when they go out, they go into the, like, the low-key areas of Manchester. Um, I do see more City players than I do my United, only because the City players live in the city centre. Um, and it's easier to get their training ground. Their training ground is next to their stadium so it's easier for them to chill or to go to training but um yeah with tenag i would love to meet tenag man but he 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 um he goes about in ultragram which is like great in manchester really pro la liga is better than your prem i'm not sure Technical wise, yeah. The belly one v one here. The belly. Gavi, 
Alonso. Barcelona just not being able to kind of get through to them, man. They can't break through people. Look at that. 11 men behind the ball. Juventus. But they counter-attack, though. Good. Look at that. Pass it on. Oh, pass it now. Here we go. Can he cross it in? Inter Milan, at least get back out quickly. This is their game. Ah, too bad there. Dembele now. Dembele. Dembele. Oh, poor execution, man. That's the one thing maybe with Dembele needs to work on, man. Execution of that ball, man. Just, you got to do better, man. Oh, dead, 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 dead. Dembele now. Play it into Rafinha. I ain't disputing La Liga and Prem. I'm disputing Pedro and Gavi fitting the United's midfield at the current stages of their careers. Mm, I think they're better where they are, though, right now. I can't lie, man. They don't need the toxicity of Man United. That's the situation we're dealing with right now. Oh, go on. Try to skip past him there. Dembele. Ah. They're doubling up on him, man. That's a problem with Dembele. They're doubling up on him. He needs one when he's had it 1v1, he's got the better of them. But look. Doubling up on him. Said, it was your funeral last night on the big six. Listen, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. We dealt with it, man. We move. I just hope there's not another day of that, man. Swear down, like. It's so, so jarring, my United, man. I don't know what sort of performance they're going to give me next. Like, who knows? What sort of performance they're going to give you next? It's pissing me off, man. Everton as well, like, unbeaten in seven. Oi, listen, man. Can't lie, it's a sticky one still. Inter missing payments, extend like the lines. They're probably worse in ownership than United. Yeah, in their own way. Yeah, he did warn me, to be fair. He did, he did. Cross comes in. Yeah, dealt with that one. I feel like whoever gets the first goal in this game wins the game, man. Because Inter Milan will then sit back. And then I think Juventus, sorry, and Barcelona will just destroy him. Keep smashing the likes up, people. When Elanga was brought down by Ronaldo and Fletty, Ronaldo and Fletty went other end and scored the load. Yeah, that's true. That's true, man. But pff, we never deserved to win that game, to be fair, even at the time, man. We were so poor at Old Trafford as well. It was a joke, man. They had no conviction about us, man. Dembele 1v1 now. Can you finally do something now? Oh, man. Dembele is flipping. Come on, man. you got to do better. You would have been offside anyway, to be fair. Saeed, do you think, would you be okay if you, United sells Cristiano Ronaldo in January? Yeah, for me, I, I would be, because and then I know at least then we can buy a replacement because we're not going to have one striker in Martial for... You know, before the whole of the January. I just know that. So, yeah. I'll be happy. Well, I won't be happy, but I wouldn't be not happy. Harlan scoring hat tricks for fun. Yeah. It is what it is. Three minutes and added time. 
overall, Barcelona really haven't had any shots on target, if I'm being honest with you. Inter Milan, I would say, have created the better opportunities. Barcelona, just huffing and puffing. No conviction. Inter Milan here now. Cross comes in. Canoglu. Penalty. Is that handball? Comes in. Canoglu. Whoa! Lasso! Hakan Canoglu. What a strike. And Inter Milan thoroughly, thoroughly deserved that. Absolutely been a better team. Absolutely been a better team, man. I don't care, man. This Barcelona love to play good football. But I tell you what, they've been a better team, man. Better opportunities. Nah, man. Barcelona ain't done shit, man. Game over, apparently, in another game. Ajax, I think, Napoli, yeah. 3-1 Napoli. But yeah, man. I'm telling you now. Hakan Chanahoglu, as what a strike that is. No chance. Inter Milan deserve it, deserve, deserve win. Deserve, uh, what do you call it, um, lead. Yeah, man. No. Yeah, man. It's when I deserve that, people. Barcelona just... They're pretty to watch, but... Can't lie to you, man. They've not really done anything, and that's half-time. Half-time, people. Yeah, man. I can't lie. Dembele needs to do better. But, um, yeah, same old story, man. But they're just passing, passing, not really creating anything, really. Like, I'm being serious with you, man. Barcelona, they're very, very pretty to watch. Got good, you know, good players that can play in different systems and whatnot, et cetera, et cetera. But, I can't lie to you, man. It's um, it's not looking good. It's not looking good, man. But that's been half time. Um, let's check all the the games that have been on, uh, in the Champions League. Let's check the games, people. I right, smash a like to the video, people. Smash a like to the video. Let's check the Champions League scores right now in the games around. Right, let's check the results. Bayern Munich obviously scored five goals today. I wonder who scored. We had Leroy Sane, Ganabri, Sadio Mane, and Mucho Trupa Top Moting that scored. Marseille won 4 1. Radio 1-0 down, you know, as well, you know. That's crazy. Sanchez, Harriet, Lebredi, and Mbemba, 4-1. They needed that win, to be fair. Ajax are 3-1 down, people. 3-1 down. Jeez. Crazy, man. Could have scored the first goal. And then Rasperdi, Di Lorenzo, and Zielinski have made it 3-1 to... Uh, uh, Napoli Napoli in cruise control in that game um, Club Bruges are 1-0 up against Atletico Madrid so out with the goal wow Atletico Madrid are down um, 
Eintracht Frankfurt, shock, 0-0 against um, Tottenham Hotspur. Let me see if anyone's been playing well. Some really love football at times of Spurs, uh, largely missed by Kane and Son. Four of Tottenham's six shots have been off target with both forwards guilty firing when they should have found the net. Those misses will make contest fans nervous. Spurs should also be easily ahead here, but it's 45 minutes to put it right. So, wow. Okay, under pressure there. Under pressure. Um, let's see. FC Porto versus Bayern Leverkusen. Let's see what's happening over there. Uh, yeah, nil nil. Apparently, it's been a VAR decision on that one. And obviously, our game, we've been watching it. And then Liverpool versus Rangers. Alexander Arnold has scored from the spot. Um, well, that should boost the confidence that Jurgen Klopp has suggested with lacking. Liverpool have been rampant. One moment of quality from Alexander Arnold separates the sides, but the dominance has been total. And Darwin Nunes has been one on one contest with Alan McGregor at times. Rangers are still in this, but would not be on, would not bet on them being the team that get the second goal of the game based on what we've seen so far. So there we have it, people. Champions League so far. That's been the results. Forza Milan, Forza Inter. Been a better team, man. Barcelona, yeah, man. Puffing and puffing, man. They don't really do anything. They're not really doing anything, Barcelona, man. They're just huffing and puffing. You get me? Raz Badori, baller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unbelievable, man. Portugal's manager is dead playing CR7 Leal. At least we get injured, real escape. Yeah, true. CR7 is so good, he can play for any team. Yeah, man. But what do you reckon of the games, man? What do you reckon of the games, man? Chat to me, people. What are you saying? What are you reckon of the game so far? Enjoying it, enjoying it. Barca are a spent force. Yeah, true. Carfa calling it Inter, Inter Milan. Could be a sticky one. Yo, yo. Inter, Inter. There's even no point saying Milan. Just call it Inter. You know what I mean, that's what you say, man. That's what you say. Solid performance from Henderson. Which Henderson? Henderson. Oh, for Liverpool. Oh, okay, okay. Loving it, mate. Barca, too much tick. It's too much side to side. It's too much like they're trying to make it a lovely, lovely goal. There's not enough direct play from them, man. But again, again, Dembele and Rafinha have been wasteful. They've got out defenders. They've got out people. But they've just been very, very wasteful in what they're trying to do. You know what I mean? It's as simple as that. Henderson and Darwin in their bags. I felt almost cried. It's been so long. We've been looking good. Listen, don't talk too soon, mate, because the second half is 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 on. Um, but Inter Milan have been in 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 for for a control, man. I just think, what is this team doing, man? Barcelona, seriously, they're just so poor, man. Has Darwin? Scored. No, he hasn't. I think Trent scored a free kick. Dembele, Rangers tax, they are awful. Spurs are so bad. To be fair, with what I've heard, they've been playing all right. See gold. I know you're a Tottenham fan, but apparently what I've been hearing is that Kane and Son have been doing well. Hmm. Then Bele clearly cut off. That's one part of his game he needs to improve on. But he is 25 now. He needs to it needs to be polished his game on that on that that area, man. It needs to be polished. Oh United Fantasy. Oh my bad. My bad, bro. The history of the Conte. Yo, Conte will be fine, man. Tottenham fans needs to chill out, man, with Conte and all that. They need to chill out. But Conte in the in the Champions League record is terrible. Conte record Champions League is absolutely terrible. Like, honestly, people, you don't want to know. His record in the Champions League, like, I'll just put it up on the screen here for you. 
so you guys can see. Uh, oh, flip sake, man. What are you doing to me, man? So look, 36 games, 12 wins, 13 draws, 11 defeats. Quarterfinal, group stage, last 16. Group stage, group stage. That's a bad, bad record, man. Bad, bad record. Conte's record is terrible, man. It's terrible. Yeah, I don't know, you know. I always thought you were... I don't know. I've I seen in a couple of Tottenham channels that I thought you were a Tottenham fan. And obviously, Patrick recognised your, 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 your name and that. So I thought you were a Tottenham fan, bro. But apologise, man. Who's your favourite football of the 90s? Well, I didn't watch the football in the 90s. I watched it in the early 2000s, like, just after the 90, 99. I watched, started watching football. But um, for me, it would have to be Ronaldinho then in the late 90s. You know what I mean? Probably be that. No way Conte is so short-term. Yeah, man, it's a short-term manager. But that's what you're going to get with Conte, though. You're not going to get anything else, are you? It's a short-term manager. Ronaldinho, yeah, Cantona. I would love to see Cantona, man. I'm so gutted I've never seen Cantona in Nintendo. Ronaldinho, Neymar, Ronaldinho. I love Neymar, though, but I just think Ronaldinho is just, um, just a special, special football. Ronaldinho is why Neymar is Neymar. Let's be real. That's, that's what I believe. Certain players facilitate and, you know, are the reason why, you know, certain players have made it in the game. So, yeah. That's exactly what it is, man. Okay, fair enough. My bad. Beckenbauer the butcher. <laughs> You're taking a piss, mate. Also, Lloris have allowed... Spurs have allowed Lloris to choke in big games, still keep him... I don't know. Is it similar like De Gea? Lloris for Tottenham is like United with De Gea. Something will give. I think sooner or later, they will they will have to understand that they have to get rid of them. Simple as that. This is the game. You know? <laughs> Who will finish in the top four? Man United or Arsenal? I think it's one or the other, man. I just think one of them will miss out. But I think Tottenham, I think I might change my views on Arsenal, but I need to see more. But I probably will change it in December time. Wait till after the World Cup and we get to January, December. That's when I can fully say, yep, yeah, Arsenal are making top four or yet yeah, Arsenal are doing this or United are doing this. I think we're just making we're just making predictions for the sake of it sometimes, man. You know what I mean? Big up, big up, Kevin Gittins. He's an Inter, Milan, Inter fan. Yeah, Kaka, prime Kaka. Whew. Ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. You know what? Yeah, let me, let me, let's, if, while we're doing this, yeah, let me, let's do our all time 11. Mm. Let me see if I can do 11. Eleven. One second. I'm gonna try and find history. Who would be in your combined eleven of all time? If we just find it, we go to Friday when I was doing the combined elevens, people. Right. Let me go here. Mm -hmm. 
one to eleven. Right, let's go here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there we go. Chosen eleven. Right. You're gonna help me pick all time eleven people. Big up Fergie Wani Kaka one time I heard. Yeah. Right, let me go. Let's go choose our all time eleven. Right. You have to help me out. What should we do? Should we go with a what formation shall we choose? What formation shall we choose, people? All time eleven. Four three three, four four two. Let us know in the chat. Four three three, four two two, four four two. What you reckon, people? Four three three. Let's go with a four three three then. Right. Let's go with a four three three. So, this is my overall team. In net, I would probably say it would be um, without being biased. I see us would be my uh, keeper, and it would be Danny Alves. Then it would be. Navarro and all time. I'm trying to think. Mm. Yeah, Cannavaro. I'm gonna because I watched Cannavaro in the early 2000s. Unbelievable. Mm. Maldini. I could go with Maldini. Yeah, no, I did. I watched the later career of Maldini. I did watch him in the nineties. I'm gonna go Rio, only because I think he was an underrated right back, and I think he was a he was a start of the modern era right backs. Left back, one second. Let me just put the timer on. So people can get in this. One second, people. Ashley Cole left back, all time left back. What do you reckon? I think Ashley Cole deserves to be in the all time left back, though. But let me just start the timer. Go. We are kicked off. Right. Do you not think that Ashley Cole needs to be on that left hand side? Marcelo, mm, yeah. What do you reckon? You got you got a lot of left backs, you know. Roberto Carlos, Marcello. You know what? Let's go with Marcello. He, honestly, a lot of people don't say it, but he's one up there. Right. All time CDM. I'm gonna go with. From what I've seen, all-time CDM. I'm trying to think. There's a lot. Makalele. You've got Sergio Busquets. You've got um, Vieira. You've got Perlo who could play in that role as well. Mm. And, and this is for me, what I have to pick in my era that I've seen. But I'm going to go with Sergio Busquets. That's who I'm going to go with here. I'm going to go with Zidane here. Unbelievable player, Zidane and Zidane. Um, attacking midfielder. 
I've got Kaka. I've got Iniesto. But you can play on the left as well. How many How many there are, man? Let me know in the comments. Attacking midfielder. you got Modric. Um, mm, I'm going to go with Kaka, you know. Kaka Iniesto. Who did I like more? Who had more longevity? Kaka Iniesto. I would have used goals, but I'm going to try and pick players that are not not all the time United. Kaka. Mm, Kaka or thingy. Iniesta. You know what? Kaka was unreal, man. Kaka. On the left, none other than Ronaldinho. On the right, I need a right, people. I need a right. I'm trying to think. You got David Beckham. You got Cristiano Ronaldo in his prime. I think it's got to be Ronaldo in it. Figo, Ronaldo. Let's go with Ronaldo, man. In his prime, he was up there. Let's go with C Ronaldo as well, so we don't disrespect anyone. Right, there's Cristiano Ronaldo. And then up front. We've got a lot of players. Thierry Henry. Unbelievable, isn't it? Messi as well. Oh, shit. Shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't lie. Ronaldo. I'm sorry. But how could I forget Lionel Messi? I have to be unbiased as much as I can. And I'm putting Cristiano Ronaldo here. And then up front, I'm going to have to go with Thierry Henry. Devastating player. I could go with Benzema. I could go with anything like that. But that's not a bad team when you think about it. It's not a bad team. R9. Yeah, R9. I could choose R9. But I've gone for Thierry Henry. Ronaldinho in the 10. You know what? Ronaldinho was on the left, though, man. Ronaldinho was a left player. Neymar. Yeah. But that's my all-time 11, people. If I was to pick an all-time 11, that would be my all-time 11. It's not a bad one, though. You know what? Put in the chat your all-time 11. Let me know what your all-time 11 is in the chat. Let me know. Give me your all-time 11 in the chat. CR7's got to be in this one. Yeah. I missed him out, man. I missed out so many players. Iniesta, Xavi. Come on, man. Modric. I've missed out so many players. Yeah, exactly. It's almost impossible to pick an all-time 11. Mm. You know what, though? He was probably unplayable between 2002 to 2007. In his role, he was top top five, top ten. Sorry, sorry, not top five, top three. What am I talking about? Goalkeeper check. Busquets, come on, man. For ten years, between 2008 to 2015 probably best TDM in the world easy easy peasy like why are we playing with that check solid enough yeah man Dennis Irwin yeah proper man another one that I seen just post 2000 when he was probably finishing his career at United. Then he moved to Wolves, didn't he? Prime Ozil or Prime Davis Silva? Prime Davis Silva. Naturally. Nah, Prime Ozil. Yeah, Prime Ozil. Yeah, let's do let's do that, people. Let's do a Prime Prime. 
So a prime this or a prime that, let me know and then I'll choose it. Like a prime Hazard versus prime Sanchez, I think prime Hazard. But Ozil was, was this, honestly, Ozil, man. Ozil was different levels, man. Ozil was, was different, man. Prime Neymar or Prime Ronaldinho? See, that's a tough one, you know. That's a tough one, man. Because Neymar still in his prime now. So you probably have to say prime Neymar. Because Ronaldinho's prime was between 2003 and 2006. That is prime. Or maybe 2002 to 2006. Neymar's prime has been what? Since he was a kid? Let's be real. Like he's been in his prime. But if I'm choosing one player and I had a player to pick from, I'd choose Ronaldinho. Easy. But Dinho was just different levels, man. That's why I picked Ronaldinho any day. You know what I mean? Barcelona, man, they're just huffing and puffing, trying to cross. They're just not doing anything, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Different gravy, man. Prime Oli or Prime Chicharito? Well, I didn't see Prime Oli, so I'd probably say Chicharito. Prime RVP or Prime Suarez? Prime Suarez, and that's me being the biggest, biggest RVP fan. Prime Suarez, man. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Buffon, Alves, Maldini, Ramos, Marcello, Busquets, Iniesta, Zidane, CR7, Messi, R9. Boy, what a team that is. Robin, see Prime Robin. You don't want to play about with him. Prime Robin or... Yeah, man, it's mad. What if Berbatov joined the city in 2008 and 2009? Well, he did it, did he? He didn't, did he? Robin Figo. Robin Figo or Salah Hazard. Robin Figo. Prime Ribery as well. Different levels. For me, Suarez is the greatest nine ever. That's a bit too much. Into Milan here. Oh, they got that more. Prime Salah or Bale? Prime Bale. Check Fabregas, Dino, Robin, Suarez, Figo, Maldini, Ferdi, Lam, and Alves. Best player of all time for me, Duncan Edwards, true legend. Yeah, man. Big up, man. The late Duncan Edwards. Prime Torres or Prime Suarez? I still pick Prime Suarez. Correa's coming off. And Dzeko is coming on. Gascoigne or Zidane. I never watched Gascoigne, so it'd be Zidane. Prime John Terry or Real Ferdinand, be honest. See, the thing is, yo, John Terry did it till he was about 35, 36 at, at Chelsea. And then he went to Villa. 
Um, I'm still going to say Rio Ferdinand. I just don't know why it is. But I would never, ever disrespect Tron Terry. One of the hardest defenders I've ever, you know, as a, as a team, come across. Rio was the first Royals worst defender after Beckenbauer. Yeah, man. The art of defending. PK is coming on now, I think. Christian said he's coming off. Seedorf and Pelo last 20 years with zero regression. Yeah, man. Mm. keep smashing the likes up in the video please guys make sure you like the video share if you can big up to everybody who's here um late late watch along i decided to do this late so big up to everybody who's here and um, please check out the shows if you haven't already i did a show best of the rest show um with a couple of the man him check that out if you haven't already um and yeah man Big up to everybody. Yeah, man, it's already on 4K. Big up to everybody who's locked in. Yeah, my chill stream, man. That's what we do, man. Yeah, man. I want to try to do the World Cup watch logs as well. Gerardo Lampard. For me... I've always been a Lampard fan. I don't know what it was, you know. I don't know if it's the fact that because he was a goal scoring midfielder, but I've always been Lampard over Gerard. And that's not even me being biased about Liverpool or whatever. Just being just being Gerard. Sorry, Lampard over Gerard. I don't know what it is. So yeah. Cantona mm -hmm. or Rooney? Rooney, because I, I never seen Cantona. Lewandowski's prime or Suarez is prime? <sighs> I'm still picking Suarez, man. I don't know what it is. Suarez, was, as a footballer, was a better footballer, and that's what I look for. But Lewandowski, different gravy. Um, I'm going to go with Perez. Perez was underrated, man. Didn't get the um, the accolades he deserves, probably. This game has been terrible, man. There's no, there's no bite or flipping. You know, it's just no energy in this game. Michael Owen in his prime was a phenomenon at 19 years old. If only he wasn't injured. Yeah, true. If only he wasn't injured, eh? Go on, Barcelona. Got a chance here. Dembele. Oh, what a save. What a save. Big, big, strong hands there for the keeper. Alonso, cross comes in. Again, no one in the box. It's only Lewandowski in the box. Good, good cross there. Dembele shoots. Onana, strong hands there, Onana. Look at them hands from Onana. Oh, that is an unbelievable save, that. Strong, strong hands there. Yeah, CPR taking a piss there. A bit of Baggio or Dal Piero? Dal Piero for me. Young Owen or Young Rooney? Young Rooney. Power, pace, big games. 
yeah, you don't play around with that, man. You don't play around with that, man. You don't play around with that. People are saying Baggio. Yeah, fair play. Inter Milan, switch it. Prime Eto or Drogba? Damn, damn, that's a tricky one. I'm going to have to be controversial and say Prime Eto. I'm going to be controversial. I'm going to say Prime Eto. I know it sounds mad, but we have to put respect on Eto's name. Eto was a beast. Eto, yeah, man. Drogba again, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. Target man or go poacher. Mm, go poacher. Depends on which era. In the era I was watching, it was a goal poacher, Van Nistelrooy, all these guys. Mm. Prime R. Sharvin or Prime Nanny? Disrespect to Nanny, that. Prime Nanny all day long. Big up to you, bro. Rude 2001. Appreciate the super chat. Um, rivalry aside, any player you take from pool, past or present for your team, probably Stam and Rashi. Oh, Rashford. Oh, present. Okay, past and present. Past, it would be. <laughs> Trying to think. Steven Gerrard. Present, it would be... Who would I want from Liverpool now? Thiago. Thiago. I would love Thiago, man. Just that kind of player that would dictate, man. Unreal. Russian Daglish. Yeah. Xabi Alonso, yeah. Robinho. Playmaker or goal scorer? Mm, I'm going to go with... Playmaker. Because I feel like the, 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 the art and craft of a playmaker gets sometimes a bit unnoticed. You know what I'm saying? 25 left for this kickoff. Been a terrible second half. I mean, is this not no fight? There's no urgency. It's just so flat. It's boring, man. It's so boring, this game. I thought it'd be a bit more open. Past goals. Present Varan for me. Okay. We won a title with Ronaldinho, Rabinio, Prime Zlatan, Pato with dead anti football, Allegri. Yeah. That for AC Milan, isn't it? That was the last time you won the league until you won it this year, isn't it? Dembele. Oh. Skips past him. Cross it in. It's got to be 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1. One, one. It is Gavi with the goal. It's Pedri. Pedri with the goal. That's a mistake from um, Inter Milan. They got caught napping there. And Pedri with the goal. 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one there. It all starts from Dembele here. Dembele skips past him. 
Cross comes in. I don't know what the keeper was doing. What was the keeper doing? If you're going to come, you have to claim that. Nah, man, that is poor from Anana. What are you doing, Anana? What are you doing? You absolute fool, man. What is Anana doing? Anana, man. You're a fool, Anana, man. Oh, it's a goal review. What are they checking here for? Handball. It is a handball. That's a handball. That's a handball. Xavi gets a booking. Yep, handball. Handball, so I will take the goal off. Take this goal off. I was thinking what they were checking. So it is still 1 0 to. It's still 1 0. And rightly so. Javi's been given a card. He looks rattled. Interkeepers are so terrible. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing. He got away with that one there, to be fair. He's got away with that one, big time. Napoli winning the Champions League. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. We will see, we will see. Oh, go on, into man. Just finish this game off, man. Yeah, belly here now. 1v1 again. Threatening, threatening. Again, service is terrible, man. That's a foul referee. Everybody, yellow card. Service is terrible, man. 5 1 Napoli, 2 0 Liverpool. Ah, oh, flipping hell, man. I wanted Liverpool to lose. I wanted Liverpool to lose, man. That's a dangerous tackle, that, you know. That could easily be a red card. Ooh. He's got his ankle there. Is that a possible red card? I don't know, people. Bruges 2-0, fair play. It's Atletico Madrid, you know. Atletico Madrid doing a madness right now. Roberto Carlos or Cafu, you can't really compare them. They're both different positions. The belly's crossing is so bold footed, it's ridiculous. The belly here crosses it in. Poor man, poor. Anana collects. Mm. They'll still have no no when they play Hellas Veronas in 10 games. <laughs> Dembele again. Always the danger man, but again, just doesn't have any output at all. Yeah, dead. Looking for a foul. You're not getting a penalty for that. Flip his shot up. Herrick Larson or Huntala. Mm. That's a good one, that one. Herrick Larson. Herrick Larson. Huntala, fair play though, but Herrick Larson. Porto's leading. Would they play Porto? Tottenham still nil nil. Wow, man. How are Tottenham not got a goal yet? How are Tottenham not got a goal yet, man? How are 
How are Tottenham not got a goal yet? It's ridiculous. Conte, man, in Europe is sticky. It ain't easy in Europe for Conte. Ajax getting torn apart. Yeah, man. Ajax, since Ten Hag went, what's going on? <laughs> since Ten Hag has gone, mate, it ain't easy. It ain't easy over there. Oh, it's Milan here. Pass it. Pass it. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why? What were you thinking about, man? You silly buggers. You silly buggers, man. Absolutely daft, man. Get out of here, man. What are you playing at, man? Now nah, Lukaku's not playing. Lukaku's not playing, people. He's on a he's on a bench. I'm sure I've seen him on a bench, unless he's not on the bench at all. Piol or Maguire? Ha ha. Fun, fun, fun. I've got a tennis elbow, people. Very, very uncomfortable. Has anyone else got a tennis elbow? What do you do on a tennis elbow? It's the worst injury ever, man. It's painful. I got it when I was in the gym, man. Doing some training and that. Oh, it's so jarring, people, man. Has anyone had a tennis elbow before? Let me know in the chat. What do you do if you've had one? I've been trying to get rid of it all day. Oh. Let it recover. Nothing you can do. I've had it many times, bro. I have it once in a while, man, but it's just so jarring, man. You can't do anything. I'm trying to elevate it. I'm trying to stretch it. It's just... It's annoying, man. Takes for yeah, it takes yeah three to seven days. Yeah, I know. I know. It takes a couple of days. Yeah, man. Rest. Get what? Get chiropractor, maybe. What's that? Let me research that. Creo. What is that? A chiropractor is someone who's trained to make your body function as optimally as possible by using spinal manipulation to relieve pain in your joints and muscles. Yeah, all right, okay. Nice one, I will do. <laughs> uh, What's well, another booking now? Gavi gets a booking. Martinez gets a booking. What is Gavi doing here? I don't know what's happening here. Have you put ice on it? No, I haven't. No. I just literally... I did some weight training yesterday and I must have slept on it as well. When you sleep on it, it's the worst feeling ever. So, obviously, I've slept on it as well. You know what I mean? So, yeah. It's painful. You think Xavi is a fraud? No, I don't. He's still in early in his managerial career. He will get better. Inter Milan might win this, you know, 1-0. Yeah, I need to go get some painkillers first. I need to have some painkillers tonight. 
and then probably put some deep heat on it around the elbow area so yeah shot have a shot have a shot oh my god these guys man tennis elbow there's literally no no i proof of information rest it oh is it okay uh i had a feeling when i tried to do it <laughs> are you shaking no i'm not shaking i'm just trying to rest it iniesta is better than javi mm. Inter have got a lot of depth though in their squad, don't you? When you look at it, I prefer a specific. I've got the cream, so I'll use the cream. Ah. Get some cough syrup. Prospect that elbow would be good to go. <laughs> yeah, I get it once in a while. Best bald pet head, Pep or Tenag? I think Tenag's bald head is underrated. Can't lie to you, man. This one's more underrated. Um. Pep's got a bit more surface area, but I think Tenag is uh, his one's a bit of a mad one still. Cross, ah, poor, 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 poor. It's very, very poor. It's very, very poor. This is very poor. Cross comes in. It's got to be 2-0. Oh, crazy. P yeah, Pioli is the best ball head manager. Let me check here. Bold head. Managers. <laughs> you've got so many. You got Zidane. You got Tenag. You got Guardiola. <laughs> oh my God. Crazy. Pioli. Hmm. Right. I'm going to just do some quick quizzes, people. Let's have some football quizzes while this shit game is on. Right, okay, people. Let's do some quizzes, man. Football quizzes. Right, let me try and find... Okay. Oh, I don't care, man. I'd block a man. What do you want from me, man? Okay. No ad blocker then. This is how they make their money, I suppose. Right. Who is, yeah, the fastest player to score a hat trick in the Premier League? Who is the fastest player to score a hat trick in the Premier League? First one gets it right. 
Fastest player, whoever types it in quickly, wins. Fastest player to score a Premier League. Yeah, Chris got it first. He said Mane. It is Mane. Two minutes, 50 seconds for Southampton versus Villa in 2015. Right, next question. Which player with 653 games has made the most Premier League appearances? Which player with 653 games has made the most Premier League appearances? James Hogan got it first. James Hogan first. Whatever I see on here. So if I see James is here first. James Hogan got it first. All right, next question. Three players to share the Premier League most Premier League red cards of eight. Who are they? So three Premier League players have got the most Premier League red cards of eight. Who are all three of them? You have to name three of them. All in one sentence. Three players. Nope, nobody's got it so far. Still nobody's got it. Still nobody's got it. Three players have got the most red cards in the Premier League. Eight. They share it as well. Say it all in one, people. Nope. And it's... Don't Google it. Don't Google it. So, Alien Tenno, you've got the first two right. You're missing the first one. You're missing the last one. One more person. He used to play for Everton. Yep. Elin Tenno got it right. Big up to Elin Tenno. Yeah, big up to Elin Tenno. He got it right. Right, next question. Next question. Forget about that question. Who's the Premier League all-time goal scorer? Quickly, quickly, quickly. All-time Premier League goal scorer. All-time Premier League goal scorer. Who's on the card first? Yeah. Prince Teddy got that first. Prince Teddy, you got that one first. Fair play, Prince Teddy. Right, next one. When was the inaugural Premier League season? When did the Premier League season start? What was the first season of the Premier League season? First season of the Premier League. What is it? Yeah, big up to you. Jack Burton got that one first. Jack Burton, well done. Um, which team won the first Premier League title? Which team won the first Premier League title? Yeah, Mr. Zola, you got that one first. Mr. Zola. Fair play, Mr. Zola. Right. With 202 clean sheets, which keeper has the best record in the Premier League with 202 clean sheets?
Yeah, Chris. No, actually, who got that first? Things I can't. No, it's Mission Kid Boss is first. Even though you didn't spell it right, but I let you off. You spelled Czech as a country. Mission Kid Boss, fair play. Um, next question: Which free, which free Premier League players shared the golden boot in the eighteen nineteen season? Which three players shared a golden boot in the 18-19 season of the Premier League? Go. Yeah, big up to you. Things I can't find. Things I can't find. You're better off saying it all in one, people, so you can get it quite faster. We've got about three more minutes of this game, so we're just going to keep carrying on. Right. The first fastest goal in the Premier League history came in 7.69 seconds. Who scored it? Oof, Barcelona chance. The fastest Premier League goal scorer in the Premier League ever. Who is it? No. Fastest goal in the Premier League. Yeah, that was Prince Teddy's won that one. Prince Teddy. Mm -hmm. Right. Question here. This is about World Cups now, by the way, people. World Cups. Well, actually... Yeah, we'll do these one. World Cup, World Cup ones, right? What was there are there have been two World Cup trophies? What was the first? What was the name of the first one? Does anyone remember the name of the first World Cup? There's been two World Cup trophies. What was the name of the first one? No, 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 no. The name of it. The name of it. Does anyone remember the name? Yeah, you got it right. Prince Teddy. It was called the Jules Rimet. Who won the first ever World Cup in 1930? Who won the first ever World Cup in 1930? Who won the first ever World Cup? Yeah, Uruguay. Who got that one first? Uh, Chris. Chris, you got it. Even though you said no idea, you, you got it. How did you manage that? Right. Which country has the most World Cups? Go, go, go. Which country has the most World Cups? Which country has the most World Cups? There's eight minutes added on in this game. Eight minutes. Flip here now. Eight minutes. So we are going to go on for another eight minutes. Brazil. Yeah. Who got that one first? It was Mission Kid Boss. You got that one first. So fair play. Um... Right, next question. Three countries. Three countries have won the World Cup twice. Can you name them? Three countries have the won the World Cup twice. Can you name them? Name them together so that obviously I'll know who got it first. So name them all together, people. There's three countries that have won the World Cup twice. One second, let me just check my answers. 
Yeah. Things I can't find. I think got it first. Yeah. Things I can't find. You got it first. Next question. Which country has appeared in three World Cup finals but has never won them? Which country has been to three World Cup finals but has never won them? They've gone to three World Cup finals. I've just never won them for some reason. Yeah. Holland, Netherlands. I'm going to give you that. Again, it's things I can't find. He must be on some fast, fast Wi-Fi or 5G. But things I can't find is on fire, man. What's going on? You're going to have to catch up to this guy, man. Right. Next one. The World Cup, the World Cup 2026 will be hosted across three different countries. Can you name them? The World Cup in 2026 will be hosted in three different countries. Can you name them? Twenty twenty six. Wow. You know what? Fair play. Jack Burton has got there. Jack Burton, you are quick. I thought it would have been things I can't find again, but Jack Burton got that one. Right, next one. In which World Cup did Diego Maradona score the infamous Hand of God goal? In which World Cup did Diego Maradona score his infamous Hand of God goal? What year was it when he scored that famous goal? 86. Who got it? Amma. Amma got that one. Amma. I believe it's Amma. Yeah, Amma got that one right. Fair play to you, Amma. Fair play. Right, next question. The record number of World Cup goals is 16, scored by who? Who is the record goal scorer for the World Cup, scoring 16 goals? What's his name? Chris, did I, was he above him, Chris? Uh, Closer, yep. Things I can't find, again. Even though you said it with a question mark. I'm going to say, yeah, I'll give you that one, because he put a question mark in there. Okay. Right, we've got about three more minutes here, and then we're going to be wrapping this up. Right. Three people have won the World Cup as a player and as a coach. Mario Zagallo, Diego Deschamps, and can you name a third? So three people have won the World Cup as a player and a coach. Zagallo, Didier Deschamps, and can you name the third one? Who has won the World Cup as a player and as a coach? So it's, I've already said Deschamps, and I've already said Zagallo. There's one more. Yep, you got it right. Um, Prince Teddy got it first. Beckenbauer. Did anyone say Beckenbauer? No, no. Um, Mission Kid Boss, you said um, you said a country, but you didn't say the manager. Right. Two English players have won the World Cup Golden have won the gold World Cup Golden Boot. Who are they? Two English players have won the World Cup Golden Boot. Who are they? Two players. One in 86 and there's one in 2018. Name me the two players. 86 and there's one in 2018. Cross comes in. Nope. Yep, there we go. I think it was... Who got it first? Al Afeleye Afeleye Namazamba. Namazama. Yeah, man. Big up to you. Keep smashing the 
Guys, if you haven't liked the video already, hit the like button, people. Um, yeah, they're the questions for them ones. Um, I mean, these are these are random questions, by the way. Actually, no. Champions League questions, yeah. Which club has the most Champions Leagues? Quick, quick, quick. Should know this one. Which club has the most Champions Leagues? Real Madrid. Uh, Mission Kid Boss said that first. Real. Closely followed by Prince Teddy. Who is the only player to win the Champions League with three different clubs? Who is the only player in Champions League history to win the Champions League with three different clubs? Three different clubs. Yeah. Things I can't find is, again... Things I can't find has got that one. Fair play. Three people have won the Champions League record as a manager. Three times as a manager. Who are they? Three managers have won the Champions League three times. And there we go, people. There we go. Uh, I'll, I'll give you that one. Bob Paisley, Ancelotti and Zidane. But listen, people, I'm going to wrap it up here. Love for everyone coming on, people. I appreciate everybody's time, everybody's effort. Um, yeah, man, I'm out of here, people. Like the video on your way out. Subscribe to the channel, people. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the like button on the video. It's free, honestly, it's free. Hit that like button, people. I appreciate everyone coming here. You get me? Like, good stream. If you guys want me to do more streams, let me know. And yeah, man, love for that, people. I'll be back tomorrow, 5 p.m. for the Mandem talk, for the Mandem chat. Uh, me, Tyro Musa. We're going to be talking about Casemiro. And so love, people. <laughs>